Hey people. Um, this is a different video. I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, I'm actually doing it on YouTube this time because I think it's gonna be able to go on for longer. Um, so basically, I haven't been on in ages. Um, just busy with work. Um, September is like the biggest thing, especially when you work in a school and you go back and it's just mad. I've had loads of staff leaving, so I've been trying my hardest, basically, um, to do as much as possible. So, um, so yeah, so basically I wanted like a check-in with everyone and just to see sort of like how everyone's doing. At one point, I wasn't going to carry on my page. Um because I don't want to get into one annoying people and I thought oh I just haven't got time for it you know I'm not helping anyone and then you know I have got messages and you know and I do think it's actually helped people unless I've seen it and so I wanted to carry on um and just sort of say that if you're ever feeling lonely or you feel like, you know, you haven't got anyone to talk to. Um, and obviously this page, it's all about my page, uh, especially that it's to do with depression, um, anxiety, PTSD. Um, you might have something else or anything, but it is mostly so you know that you're not alone. You're not in it by yourself. I wanted to come on and basically when I first started the videos um, that I'm not all fantastic. I normally don't have my makeup on. This is because of, I'm doing it actually after work and I haven't taken it off yet because I'm lazy. Um, so yeah, and I wanted to just show you that like a real mum of trying to juggle kids, pets, you know, Teenager mood swings, anxiety, depression, PTSD, counselling, medication, you know. And yeah, I keep saying I'm going to do more videos and this, that and the other. And then I just sit back and some days I just don't want to do a video. And then some days I do, but it just, it kept on cutting me off. So this is why I'm going to start using, I think, YouTube. Because hopefully it won't just cut me off when it gets to a timer limit. And I can just blabble on. And then edit it and post it because I do like the editing bit now. Um, but yeah, I didn't want it just getting a bit too much what everybody else wanted. I kept on sort of like looking on other people's and like going, oh, well, what can I talk about? What what can I do? Oh, mine's rubbish. And I was actually feeling a bit like, oh, you know, what are you even doing it for? You know, um, and I had some people saying, oh, you know, you're just doing it, you know, for attention. Um, but I'm not. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to sort of check in and everything. And um, I've just realised my phone is going to die. So just bear with me while I get the charger. Yes, I'm sat in bed because it's freezing. Um and if you fall, it's not my fault. <sighs> Let me just put you on charge, guys. So I'm hoping to get, at some point, maybe a camera. Um, but I'm not wanting to do, like, massive videos. It's supposed to show, basically, the rawness of it and me looking like crap. So you feel better in the morning, you know, because look. Um, that you don't have to have every time, sometimes when I, like, most of the times when I see people and they're going on about depression and anxiety, they don't look rough, um, they look fantastic, their house is all fucking immaculate, and they've got the shit together. I don't. I'm winging it every freaking day. Um, and disclaimer, sometimes I do have a cigarette while I'm speaking to you guys, 
and if you don't like it then fine you don't have to like my videos and you don't have to follow me um but i am a smoker i don't drink on my channel so <laughs> so yeah um so basically what i've been up to just busy with work and trying to sort of just leave lead a normal life um i noticed that basically yeah I was like beating myself up of not doing the videos and not wanting to do it and thinking about deleting the page and then I thought well no because there is actually helpful tips on there and not only that there is actually like phone numbers and a place that you can actually text as well number that you can text if you're thinking about suicide and you know I have gone on about like basically if you think about planning um just give them a call or a text message um so yeah and it is hard and every day is a challenge um and the one quote that i did see is don't like congrat congratulate yourself of reaching a goal like congratulate until it's lit um like basically praise yourself for every step that you take towards that goal and it went to us all that and i thought actually yeah that's true because you sort of just go, right, well, I haven't reached that goal yet. And then you praise yourself once you get to that goal. Um, you should praise yourself to every step that you take to that goal. So even if it's just ringing the doctors to go down or seeing the doctor the first time or admitting that you're lonely or that, you know, you do feel depressed or you think that there's something wrong or you just get it all off your chest to a friend anyone um i think that's the first step you know and you should praise that that you've done that you know and that's why i've gone on here because there's a lot of people that it is hush hush and nobody wants to talk about it um and there's some days i don't want to talk about it there'll be some times where people might ask me something and i just i really don't want to talk about it like it's a bad day i do have bad days still i'm not saying i'm perfect because i'm not um there's some days where I just I don't want to get out of bed um I just feel like rubbish and that I'm not worthy of what I've got or that you know I could be doing better and that's most one with me of you know you should be doing this you should be doing that um and even when I had my uh, therapy and she said, like, if you say the word should, it means that basically it's something um, that you've done something wrong, that you haven't done it, is should. Instead, you should word, use the word could. I could have done it, but I didn't. You know what I mean? So instead of going, oh, well, I should have done that, but I could have. But I didn't. Not today. So... And that helps. And then, obviously, self-loathing was a worse one of going, oh, you're rubbish at this, you can't even do this, you can't even do that. Now, so every time I do something, even if it's just get out of bed or you've done the ironing today or you've cleaned up today, oh, look, you did that today, you know what I mean? Oh, look, you even managed to do that today. It's little, little goals and little praises to yourself. And you slowly but surely, and I've noticed it sometimes, and I'll think of a negative thought and then I come back with another one going why am I thinking about that don't be daft you know what I mean you've done this and this and this so if I think of something negative and I might be like oh god you haven't even done this yeah but I did this this and this so it is like retraining your brain and there is actually books out there about retraining your brain so if you are thinking like that um there's definitely plenty of anxiety and depression booklets um and stuff like that out there um booklets books you can tell i'm tired <laughs> um so yeah it's hard and it's definitely hard i think when your work knows well um i did want to be honest with him and everyone knows um so if anyone needs me they can actually speak to me which is really really good but it's hard because obviously sometimes it feels like they're not taking you seriously or that they're 
sort of stepping around you because they don't know what to say just in case you might lose it and obviously if you take medication another one is that if you miss it people automatically think oh, she's gonna lose it you're gonna lose it because you haven't taken your meds today that ain't the case it takes a few days before you notice anything and mostly if it's depression then you'll just want to actually climb into bed um you won't want to go on a, on the rampage with people so <laughs> so just be wary of it's how to speak to people and not come across like condescending and sort of a bit ignorant to be honest and people don't want to talk about it because it's like well it's all hush hush isn't it it's all whispered and oh she's got depression and she's got anxiety and and this that and the other and it's nothing to be ashamed of i have admitted that now and i will and i boast about it to be honest yes I do have depression and I do have anxiety and I have two kids and a job and lots of animals. <laughs> um, it's just one of those things. And like, um, sorry, uh, what I also said was that you don't wake up and you ask for it. Like sometimes people make out like, oh, what have you got that for? Yeah, because I just laid there one morning thinking, do you know what? I fancy some depression and some anxiety. No. And I don't want insomnia either. Where sometimes I'm wired right up until four o'clock in the morning and I've got to get up at seven. So, not really. And then some people go, oh, well, why can't you just take some tablets for that and go to sleep? Because it'll even mix with me other medication. Or it'll make me worse. Or I didn't want to take more medication. And obviously with uh, my doctor, they don't want it making my anxiety worse. They don't want to... And depression, because obviously it can coincide with it, with the depression tablets that I'm taking. <clears throat> so it is just about how to actually talk to people with depression and anxiety. And I think until... I always used to think to myself, like, oh, how can people commit suicide? Like, it's just, I can't even fathom it. And it wasn't until, obviously, it got that low um, that I wasn't actually planning. I managed to go to the doctors before I was planning. But I did have thoughts of, I don't even know if I want to be here. You know what I mean? It is, you know, is this it? It's rubbish. I'm rubbish. Everything's rubbish. Um, so I think until you actually go through it, um, you don't understand why somebody would. And I think that's why I'm doing it as well, because I don't want someone else feeling like the way I did. And I know other people as well where they have actually tried. And, you know, it, it's awful because sometimes you don't know what to do as well for them. Um, but you've also got to look after your own mental health as well. Um, so, yeah, and there is also support groups for also, you know, people, the families of, um, people going through depression, anxiety, and also like suicidal tendencies. So you know there is help out there. It's just it's taking that leap and going for it. And I know it seems hard, and you just think, oh, do you know what? I can't be bothered. You know, I don't even want to be you know, get yourself under the duvet, don't you? You know, I've been there. You know, and. But it's not great. You're not going anywhere. You know, at the end of the day, you're stuck under the duvet. You're stuck under the duvet, you know. And it went till then. And then I've started, obviously, the medication. And also I went to therapy. I went to CBT and normal therapy until I had that. And then I realised, hang on a minute. And mine stems from a lot of stuff going on in my past. 
and a lot of people not treating me the way they should and we're taking a lot of heat and just taking it and taking it and taking it and it took its toll it took its toll you know each little bit um till yeah i had a meltdown and i was off work for a while so and I, i've come back stronger better you know so the years the years are like you know end of tunnel the years and it is just it's sticking it out and it's fighting and i know it's hard i really really know it's hard but sometimes even getting up is a mission but just try and think of good little things just even just one every day of what you did of what you've seen and like sometimes i even think to myself like oh if i'd actually gone through with it you know if i'd actually you know started planning suicide i wouldn't be here and i wouldn't have seen this i wouldn't have seen that you know and it will it will get better and these things out there so I'm going to keep on jabbering and I'm going to keep on posting as much as I can. But I'm not getting addicted to social media of going, oh, I need to post one every week because if not, people won't like it. Tough. <laughs> I have a job and I have two children and basically a zoo. Um, So I need to concentrate on that as well. Um. And also my mental health. But I will keep on checking in. And I will try. Try. Um, sort of like introduce you as well to the animals. You've seen uh, a few of my cats and that lot now. Uh, my little bunnies. Um, but there's a few others. Especially my uh, sick cat. Which I think she's going to be just poorly. Sort of the rest of her life. Um, so you know they're part of our family as well um the kids i don't really have much on here because obviously i am talking more about like suicide and also uh, depression and anxiety they do know um i haven't kept anything from them um so they know um because i wanted them to make sure that they know that basically it's okay to go through it and it's it's like how you cope with it after, you know, and you come out and you tell people. And it took me a while to, um, but it's it, like, it shouldn't be hush hush. And I didn't want my kids and like hiding it from my kids, like everything's hush hush. And then they come out later, like, oh yeah, by the way, you know, I went through depression and anxiety. You know, I want them to know. So then if ever they're feeling like it when they're older and going, actually, mum, you know, I'm feeling a bit like this. So. That's why I made sure that they were aware, um, which has worked for me. It might not work for everyone. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah. So, like I said, I'll keep on checking in. And I hope every everybody's absolutely well. And keep smiling and keep fighting. And we're all in it together. <laughs>